From the legislature, the biggest issue of the 2019 session will be under the spotlight tomorrow at the state capitol. It's the first hearing on two competing bills to continue Medicaid expansion. The $1.5 billion program that's providing government-funded health coverage to 95,000 low-income Montanans. MTN's Mike Dennison will be there on Saturday, but first he gives us a preview of the hearing and the status of this marquee issue. At 9 a.m. Saturday in the old Supreme Court chambers, the House Human Services Committee will kick off an all-day hearing on these two bills. They start with House Bill 425, the proposal from Democratic State Representative Mary Caffaro to extend the current program with a few minor changes. Then in the afternoon, the 19-member committee will hear House Bill 658, the Republican alternative, sponsored by Representative Ed Buttery of Great Falls. Democrats and Governor Steve Bullock are behind Caffaro's bill. It's going to be a real opportunity for people to finally see and hear what the differences are between the two proposed options. I think it'll be a really interesting day with a lot of testimony um, from people around the state expressing why this program needs to exist, why we can't let politics get in the way of us having Medicaid, period. But Republicans, of course, control the majority at the legislature and on the committee, and they're looking to put some restrictions on the program. The Butcher Bill tightens eligibility, requiring 20 hours a week of community engagement, which could be a job or volunteer work. It also would charge a fee to people who own certain amounts of property. Representative Dennis Lenz of Billings is the chair of the committee hearing the bills. He wants to hear how the bills interconnect, but he also says Republicans believe Medicaid expansion should be helping people temporarily in need of care and not become a permanent benefit. We want to be able to provide them, if a Medicaid expansion uh, bill goes through, provide them with something that can be a stepping stone to get them over this hump, over this difficulty. Democrats say the GOP requirements will end up kicking Montanans off the program, with no proof that people are improperly taking advantage of it. We've heard talking points and we've heard innuendo, but I have yet to have somebody actually show me data that supports any of those claims. Scores of people and lobbyists will be testifying Saturday on the two bills, and then panel members will ask questions, wrapping things up around 5 p.m. Supporters of Medicaid expansion also are planning a big rally at noon in the Capitol Saturday, right outside the hearing room. Buttry's bill is clearly the one to watch, for Medicaid expansion won't pass without at least some Republican votes. But what will it look like if it comes out of committee? We won't know that until next Friday, when the committee plans to vote on both bills. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News.